One of the greatest aspects we love about our favorite anime is the amazing powers that the characters possess. Luffy, Naruto, and Ichigo are iconic characters that possess amazing abilities. But we all know that not all characters are created equal in anime. Some characters have abilities that are, shall I say, quite odd. In this video, I'll be counting down 10 of the weirdest anime powers that you definitely wouldn't want to have. From a guy who can summon ramen from his nose to a girl with healing spit, I've got it covered. Let's start with Melona, the shapeshifting assassin from Queen's Blade. Melona might seem like any other shapeshifter at first glance, but there's one aspect of her power that sets her apart from the rest, and it's something that will catch everyone off guard, because it's just not a weapon that most possess. Brace yourself, Melona can shoot acidic milk out of her you-know-what. Yep, you heard me right. Her breast milk is a weapon that no one will see coming. This stuff can break down inorganic substances like it's nobody's business. And if that's not enough for you, Melona can even concentrate her milk into high-velocity explosives. I mean, who needs a gun when you've got breast milk that can blow stuff up? This power is just plain weird. I can't imagine the thought process behind coming up with this ability. Who wakes up one day and says, You know what would make a great power? Acidic breast milk. It's just... Why? Why does this power exist? Next is Ai Mori, from Law of Ueki. This girl has the quirky ability to brainwash people into becoming obsessed with glasses. But there's a surprising catch to her activating this power. She can only use her power if her opponent strikes a pose that's cute and innocent. Think back to your elementary school pictures. I'm talking about fists under the chin, one leg popped out, and a smile. Once her opponent is in the perfect pose, I can then turn them into a glasses fanatic. She then uses their newfound love of glasses against them by making them obey her commands, by threatening to break the glasses, or straight up break them in front of their eyes, thus destroying their new obsession. I mean, don't get me wrong, glasses are cool and all, but is it really worth it to have a complete breakdown just because your glasses got broken? And let's not forget that Ai's power only works if her opponent cooperates with her weird demands. Honestly, if I were in Ai's shoes, I would just forget about this power, but hey, who am I to judge? Number 8 is Nell from Bleach. Her ability involves her saliva, but it's not just any saliva we're talking about here. When Nell is in her child form, she can produce saliva that supposedly has healing properties, but she has to massage her uvula to make it happen. Yep, you heard that right, her uvula. That wobbly thing at the back of your throat that makes you gag when you accidentally touch it. Nell is under the impression that she's simply spitting on people to heal them, when in reality, she's basically vomiting on them. But this is magical healing vomit which makes it better, right? I mean, I guess if you're in desperate need of some healing, you'll take what you can get. But let's be real here. There's no denying that this power is both gross and weird, even if it's supposed to heal you. Surprisingly, there's another character whose power also has to do with saliva. This time it's Toru from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Toru's saliva has the power to remove stains. Yep, you heard that right. This maid can spit on your clothes and make them as clean as a whistle. I mean, sure, it's a useful power to have as a maid, but can you imagine watching her going around gushing spit on everything she wants clean? It's a little unsettling to say the least. But hey, if it works, it works, right? And while it may not be the most flashy power out there, it definitely earns a spot on the super weird powers list. She's our small and cute mighty spitter who cleans everything. Even crazier than her spit is the fact that she's actually a dragon. Yep, didn't see that coming, did you? It's a good thing she can transform into a girl, because who wants a dragon trying to clean their house? Now, we all know that ramen is a delicious and comforting food, but you may want to stay away from the creations of our next character. I'm of course talking about Wanze, the marine cook from One Piece. See, the reason you'll want to stay away is twofold. First, Wanze mixes dough in his mouth. Second, he blows the dough out of his nose, using his nose hair like a strainer to cut the dough into noodles. Wanze's ability doesn't just stop at creating ramen for his marines to eat, though. As disgusting as that is, no. He can also use the noodles to attack and defend himself from enemies. What's even crazier is that his power doesn't even come from a devil fruit. It's just Wanze's nose hair. And if that wasn't weird enough for you, Wanze can also make a suit of armor out of those noodles. Yup, noodle armor. Its defensive attribute is actually not too bad, even though it's made from noodles. Wanze's become pretty skilled with this ability, too, as he was able to hold his own for a little bit against Sanji. Maybe I should try and practice some moves with ramen. Nah, you're right. Probably not a good idea. This next power will definitely squeeze your brain. Motojiro Kaji from Bungo Stray Dogs may just have the weirdest superpower of them all. He's immune to lemon-shaped explosives. Only lemon-shaped ones, though. I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever seen an explosion shaped like a lemon before. 
What about pineapple, mushroom, and melon-shaped explosives, you might ask? Yep, those will cause damage. But lemon shape? This guy can act like nothing's even happening. With that knowledge, Kaji was pretty resourceful and decided to create his own lemon-shaped bombs to get the most out of his weird powers. And let's be honest, if you had this power, wouldn't you try to do the same? Let's move on to a weird and trashy power. Literally, trashy. In Law of Ueki, our protagonist Ueki has a power that's simply trashy, in the best way possible. With just a trusty garbage can by his side, Ueki can transform garbage into trees in an instant. That's right, trees. Forget about reducing, reusing, and recycling, Ueki just skips straight to the reforestation part. Now, you might be wondering, how useful is this ability in a battle? Not very, to be honest. But hey, I'm not talking about fighting ability here. I'm talking about the sheer weirdness of it all. Ueki's power is not just some random ability pulled out of thin air. In the context of his world, it actually makes sense. And in the real world, his power could be the key to solving our environmental problems. Somebody needs to figure out how to bring this guy to life. I've gone through seven of the weirdest powers of anime so far, and this next power comes from a world where almost everyone has a power. I'm talking about My Hero Academia. And when Weird and My Hero Academia are in the same sentence, I have to be talking about Mineta and his pop-off ability. Mineta's little purple orbs are both sticky and bouncy, making them incredibly versatile. He can use them to bind his enemies, immobilize them, or even use them as trampolines to reach high places. But as useful as they are, they come with a pretty big downside. If Mineta loses too many of them, he starts bleeding out from his head. Despite his questionable at best personality, Mineta actually uses his quirk in some pretty clever ways. He'll stick his enemies in place so his teammates can take them down. Or he'll bounce around the battlefield to distract his opponents. And let's face it, no matter how weird they are, Mineta will always find a use for his balls. Enough of the ball talk. Next up is Tadayasu Sawaki from Moyashimon, who has the power to talk to bacteria, viruses, and microorganisms. Not only can he communicate with them, but he can also see their cute little faces. That's both cool and really weird at the same time. Even though Tadayasu is surrounded by germs all the time, he's not freaked out by them. I mean, come on. If I saw the bacteria that surrounded me at any given moment, I would definitely freak. And then if that bacteria started talking to me, and I understood, I'm passing out. That's pretty bizarre if you ask me. But I guess you would get used to it after a while. The only thing Tadayasu really seems to do with his ability, though, is making sake. That's it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Saki as much as the next person, but I feel like there's so much more he could do with his power, like stopping sickness from spreading. But this is anime, and it doesn't have to make sense, and that's one of the reasons why we love it. Down to the last one on our list. Let's talk about the wacky power of nose hair. You might think Wanze from One Piece was the only one to wield such a power, but nope, we have Bobo 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 to thank for that. With his expertly crafted nose hairs, he takes down a whole bunch of bald villains. Bobobo has mastered the art of using his nasal hair to whip, bind, and even create a giant net. But that's not all. He's taken it up a notch by using them to create armor, charge beam attacks, and even summon King Nose Hair. What better king is there than King Nose Hair? Bobobo has some of the best attack names in anime as well. I mean, what can top Nose Hair Snake Fist, Nose Hair Festival, or Nose Hair Revolution? Maybe Nose Hair Rasengan, but that might just be me who thinks that. So the next time you're facing off against someone with some crazy nose hair, watch out. They might just be your downfall. Powers like these make anime unique and entertaining. The creativity and imagination behind these powers are just mind-boggling, and you never know what you're going to come across. So if you ever find yourself in an anime universe, hopefully, you'll end up with a power that's a little less weird and a lot more awesome. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe!